Hans Dolf Lundgren is a Swedish actor, filmmaker, and martial artist. Born in Spanga, Sweden, Lundgren became interested in martial arts at a young age. This would lead him to hold the rank of fourth Dan Black Belt in Kyokushin Karate and become European champion in 1980 and 1981. Born, November 3, 1957, age 66 years, Stockholm, Sweden. Height, 1.96 meters Education, Wesley College, University of Sydney, 1982, Moore. Spouse, Emma Crockdell, M. 2023, Annette Kleiberg, M. 1994, to 2011. Children, Ida Lundgren, Greta Lundgren. Parents, Carl Lundgren, Brigitta Lundgren. Dolf Lundgren was born as Hans Lundgren in Stockholm, Sweden, to Sigurd Birgitta, Tjerneld, a language teacher, and Carl Johan Hugo Lundgren, an engineer and economist for the Swedish government. He lived in Stockholm until the age of 13, when he moved in with his grandparents in Nyland, Nürmanland, Sweden. Despite an early interest in music and the fine arts, Dolf decided to follow in his father's footsteps and pursue an engineering degree. After having completed his military service, he enrolled at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. It was in the military when Dolph first came in contact with the martial arts. Five years later, he had become a world-class competitor in Japanese karate and was deeply involved with a discipline that was to become an important part of his life. After graduating high school, Dolph spent considerable time studying in the United States and abroad on various academic scholarships. He attended Washington State University, and Clemson University in South Carolina. In 1982, he received a scholarship to complete his master's degree in chemical engineering at the University of Sydney, Australia. In 1983, he was awarded a Fulbright scholarship to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Boston, one of the world's top engineering schools. However, that same year, he decided to move to New York City and take up acting. He changed his forename to Dolph. He started studying drama at the Warren Robertson Theater Workshop in Manhattan, not knowing how quickly his life was about to change. His film debut came in A View to a Kill, 1985. However, it was his performance in Rocky IV, 1985, later that year that definitely got him noticed. After a nine-month audition process among 5,000 hopefuls, he was cast opposite writer-director Sylvester Stallone as his Russian opponent. Ivan Drago. Following the success of Rocky IV, 1985, Lundgren moved to Los Angeles and has since starred in more than 30 feature films. Lundgren portrayed the classic action heroic lead in such films as Gary Goddard's Masters of the Universe, 1987, Showdown in Little Tokyo, 1991, co starring Brandon Lee in Blackjack, 1998, by Hong Kong action legend. John Wu. Lundgren has also continued to turning in memorable performances as the main adversary to other action stars, most notably in Universal Soldier, 1992, opposite Jean-Claude Van Damme, directed by Roland Emmerich, as well as Robert Longo's Johnny Mnemonic, 1995, opposite Keanu Reeves. In February 2004, Lundgren directed his first feature film, the thriller The Defender, 2004, in which he also starred. In 2005, he directed and starred in yet another feature, The Russian Specialist, 2005, a .k.o. The Mechanic. In January 2006, he finished Principal Photography of the Final Inquiry, 2006, a joint Italian-American, Spanish co-production, directed by Giulio Bass, appearing opposite, among others, Daniele Leoti, Max von Sido and F. Murray Abraham. In 2006, Lundgren starred in Diamond Dogs, 2007, a Chinese-American co-production filmed on location in Mongolia. In 2007, he directed a modern-day western shot in Texas, Missionary Man, 2007. In 2009, he completed two new directorial efforts, the action-packed Command Performance, 2009, which showcases Lundgren's longtime musical talents as a drummer, and the neo-noir thriller Accurse, 2010. Lundgren also reunited with co-stars Jean-Claude Van Damme and Sylvester Stallone for Universal Soldier, Regeneration, 2009, and the highly anticipated action blockbuster, The Expendables, 2010. 
Lundgren managed to not let his Hollywood career stand in the way of his athletic background. He has been awarded his third-degree black belt by the World Karate Organization in Tokyo. His accomplishments include being the captain of the Swedish national karate team, as well as a champion of the Swedish, European and Australian heavyweight division titles. Lundgren still regularly performs karate exhibitions at international tournaments worldwide. In addition, he was selected by the U.S. Olympic Committee to serve as team leader of the 1,996 U.S. Olympic pentathlon team during the Atlanta Games. He is actively involved in promoting the image of this sport. His production company, Thor Pictures, is developing several projects in which he will produce, star and, or direct. He is also a founding member of, Group of Eight, a New York theater group started in 1994. Lundgren has reportedly been working on a fitness book, and sports were line for men. The creation and launch of a new eponymous brand, a licensing, media and publishing program, and the development of future entertainment and media projects. Lundgren was married to Annette Kiberg Lundgren, an interior decorator and fashion designer, until their divorce in 2011. They had two daughters together. Family. Spouses. Emma Crockdell, July 13, 2023. Present. Annette Kiberg, February 27, 1994, March 2011. Divorced. To children, children, Ida Lundgren, Greta Lundgren, parents, Sigrid Birgitta Tierneld, Carl Johann Hugo Lundgren, relatives, Katharina Lundgren, sibling, Anika Lundgren, sibling, Johann Lundgren, sibling, trademarks, spinning back kick, towering height and muscular physique, square jaw and bold blue eyes, deep resonant voice, trivia, holds a master's degree in chemical engineering, was offered a Fulbright scholarship to study at MIT. In 2009 three intruders broke into his home in Spain and assaulted his wife. After they saw a family photo with Lundgren and realized that the house belonged to him, they fled immediately. European heavyweight karate champion in 1980-81, served in the Swedish Marine Corps, was once a bodyguard for Grace Jones. Contrary to popular belief was never engaged to Grace Jones, but he did live with her for four years. Caused a stir in his home country of Sweden in the late 1980s, when he refused to be interviewed in Swedish, preferring English instead. He enjoys mixing drinks using his knowledge of chemistry, speaks three languages, English, Swedish and some German, said to speak Japanese as well, but actually knows only a few phrases, also speaks some Spanish as he lives in Spain, used to do most of his own stunts, but only does about half of them as he gets older, maintains his own personal website for his fans was team leader for the U.S. modern pentathlon team at the 1996 Summer Olympics, Australian heavyweight karate champion in 1982. He married Annette Kviberg in Stockholm, Sweden, worked as a bouncer in New York City with Ches Palmentary. In an interview, he claimed to often train up to six days a week, usually one-hour sessions completed in the morning, saying that, it's just one hour a day and then you can enjoy the other 23 hours. He also likes to spar and practice karate to stay in shape. Was the first actor cast for the science fiction fantasy film Masters of the Universe, 1987, sports natural blonde hair in all his films, save for The Punisher, 1989, Dark Angel, 1990, and Small Apartments, 2012, where it is dyed jet black, plays the drums. Despite mixed reviews to Masters of the Universe, 1987, later animated and comic book depictions of the He-Man character, most notably the 2002 remake series by Mike Young Productions, had the He-Man character drawn to resemble Lundgren, has two daughters with ex-wife Annette, Ida Sigurd Lundgren, B. 4, 1996, and Greta Evelyn Lundgren, B. 11, 30, 01, has been asked for Ivan Drago's autograph in real life, and given it, Kyokushinkai Karate, British Open Champion 1980, 1981, Australian Open Champion, 1982, Swedish Open Champion, 1979, 1980, 1981. In July 1998, he obtained his third degree black belt, third dan, in Kyokushinkai Karate in Stockholm, Sweden, after four to five month training with his former teacher Brian Fitkin, was photographed at the factory in the early 1980s by Andy Warhol and photographer Christopher Makos, auditioned for a role in the sequel Rambo, First Blood Part II, 1985, trained also in Taekwondo for a short period, was reportedly interested in the role of Ben Richards in The Running Man, 
1987, which eventually went to Arnold Schwarzenegger, born in 1957, but claims a birth date of 1959. In 2006 he received an award at the 25th Vimpel Award Ceremony in Russia, and was the first foreigner ever allowed to attend the ceremony. Has a 160 IQ, starred with Rolf Moller in Universal Soldier, 1992. Years later, both auditioned for the role of Hagen, in Gladiator, 2000, with Lundgren losing due to Ridley Scott being unimpressed by his acting, and Moeller winning the role. Moved back to Los Angeles, CEO, with his girlfriend Jenny Sanderson in 2011. At 6'5", he is the tallest actor to portray Frank Castle in a live-action adaption of the Punisher comics. Was a candidate for the role of the Phantom, Kit Walker, when Lee Fox comic strip hero, The Phantom, was optioned for a film adaptation during the 1980s and early 1990s. In April 2002 it was rumored that he announced his retirement from acting to spend more time with his family, but Lundgren denied it a few months later while filming Detention, 2003 was one of the last celebrities to model for photographer Victor Skrbnevsky, notably for a Chicago International Film Festival poster. He became a naturalized U.S. citizen on February 13, 2024, used to support Everton Football Club when he lived in Europe, had a project with acclaimed Polish director Andrzej Zulowski in 1990, entitled La Tiger, set during the fall of Dean Bean Fu. Other aborted projects for Lundgren include Meltdown to be directed by John Dahl based on a John Carpenter script, and RPM, 1997, written and to be directed by Roger Avery, ultimately rewritten, and directed by Ian Sharp, one of two Swedish actors to play a Russian character, Peter Stormare is the other, mentioned in Mac and Charlie write a movie, 2009, quotes, Arnold Schwarzenegger, is my role model since he is successful, but, as an actor, he is not. My role model, I prefer Sean Connery, Mel Gibson and Harrison Ford. They, too, started as beefcakes but have since established themselves as acknowledged actors, in Empire, UK. January 1996, when I started studying acting in New York, I didn't plan to be an action hero. I just wanted to learn acting because I felt it was something I needed to try to do for myself, to express something, my inner pain, or something I couldn't get out. Then I got caught up taking my shirt off and strapping a machine gun on to shoot people. There wasn't really much acting, you couldn't have done too much with those roles no matter how good you were, in Vanity Fair. 1995, I was a movie star before having the chance to become an actor, so now I'm trying to backtrack. I was incredibly shy when I first got into the business, I still am to some extent. I've overcome that shyness through contact sports, but I wanted to find that same confidence interacting with people through acting instead of in the ring. Action films are an extension of Greek myths, which have been around since Homer's, the Iliad. Every Bodhis life has some mythical quality. You struggle against obstacles, you fight to get to a higher level, and there are great loves. With an action film it's just more apparent. That's why people will always love action movies. My problem is that people get intimidated by someone big and beautiful like me. They hate to think I can be smart as well. I usually pick up a scar a movie. Playing He-Man was pretty much my lowest point as an actor. It was a kid's movie. How much could I do as an actor when I was running around in swim trunks and chest armor? There was talk of my doing a second one, but I wasn't available, and from what I understand, the whole idea of a sequel fell through. It's still a strange experience to me when people come up to me at airports and bring pictures to be signed. It's kind of flattering but one way I like to stay focused is using my training. I can remember what it is like, when you spar with somebody and he hits you, and you go, oops, this is real life. Hollywood is great for entertaining people, it's a wonderful business but it's make-believe, you must remember that. That's one of the most important things to remember and the distinction in your own life, otherwise people get lost in their own fame, and it makes them unhappy. Salaries. Retrograde. 2005. $1 million. Blackjack. 1998. $2 million. The Peacekeeper. 1997. $2,500,000. Hidden Assassin. 1,995, $2,500,000, $3,000,000.